Today we are going over long layered haircuts using our clippers and shears and doing multiple techniques with them. I'm going to first get my model ready and prepare to start this tutorial. Remember, besides using clippers and shears, we will need to use our comb and fingers. The comb will control distribution and the fingers control tension. All right, everyone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw an actual head shape. And basically what we're going to be doing is looking at the head shape from the top. Okay. This is the only part that we're gonna work on because we'll be using shears and clippers in regards to this section. Therefore, we won't have to worry about these sides. So first things first, what we want to do is we want to work at the crown area. So let's say this is considered to be the crown and here on down or forward, it will be the head shape. All right. So in regards to parting the hair, we want to understand that what we want to do is create a T-line. T-line horizontally and then T-line vertically. All right, so we're gonna draw a line through here. And create a straight line down. All right, now in regards to parting the hair, remember we always wanna start in the middle. The middle is an important part, just like when we line up the front of the hairline. We always start in the middle, and even in, in regards to parting the hair, if we want to part it in four sections, we always start in the middle where the nose is at, as a guideline, as a reference point, okay? So, we need to determine where do we want to start off at when, we, when it comes down to the horizontal line. Do we want to start off from left middle to, to left or middle to right. We want to figure that out. And I want everyone to keep in mind that I don't want you to take big sections right now. I don't want you to take um, large partings, large sub partings. All I want you to do is, let's say, um, do about an inch, an inch worth of taking one section of the hair and then creating a moving guideline by dropping and only using about a quarter of an inch of hair to keep as the guy, the moving guideline, and then pick up the hair, which where you'll see the extra hair that you need to cut and make it even with the first guideline that you created. And what you wanna do is you wanna keep moving along inch by inch with that moving guideline. All right, y'all, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to create my horizontal part okay I'm going to create that line the parting line I'm going to brush the hair forward I'm going to go ahead and pick up the hair making sure that all the hair without outside of this inch that I want to cut is out of the way okay so right now what we have is an inch parting. Okay, inch parting, horizontal line. Moving guideline, moving guideline, moving guideline. And you wanna make sure you can always drop all of these guidelines that you created and start back in the middle. And then work your way from the middle to the side. One inch, one inch one inch one inch and so on all right now okay remember we want to start in the middle right i'm starting in the middle and what i'm doing is i'm picking up that here and i'm going to create my first guideline all right now remember we don't want to pass we don't want to cut past the second knuckle. This is the second knuckle right here. 
we don't want to cut past this we only want to cut in between here if we cut here right here it's a gap right here there's no gap all right so we want to keep that in mind now as we have this here right here that we just cut this is the guideline right what we want to do is we want to drop a quarter we want to leave a quarter within our hand right okay we want to move on and pick up the hair I'm going to start from the bottom with the comb creating that tension working our way up and find that guy line So right now, as you can see, I'm working on my model. What you see on the left hand side is the clippers over finger technique. Whereas on the right hand side, you see shear over fingers. This is going to allow you to determine which technique you would want to use on your clients. Remember, the comb controls distribution, whereas fingers control tension. That's highly important. It must be understood. One thing that you want to keep in mind when it comes down to the vertical parting and straight down, you want to start off in the middle, doing the same method, inch, 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 inch. just working your way through. Now, in regards to creating that, the first horizontal line, the second vertical line, we wanna make sure that we can always create T-shape first. Once we create the T-shape, this allows us to always go back to the middle part of the crown area in which we started that guy line off at, okay? so. Like I said, if we drop any of these and we misplace ourselves, we can always go back to the center part, the middle part. We can always find ourselves reverting back to this location and picking back up where we left off. So keep in mind that you want to start off with that T-shape. Either you can start off vertically or you can start off horizontally. Either you can start uh, middle to left or middle to right. It's up to you. It's contingent upon how you see fit. So as you can see within this part of the video of me working on my model, I'm finishing up the horizontal parting. And then now what I want to do is I want to start with the vertical parting. All right. So once I find my crown area, I'm going to work all the way to the front forehead. And that's where I'm going to create that vertical line. As you can currently see now on the shear of a finger technique, I'm creating a moving guy line. I'm creating parts, partings, and sub partings, and I'm moving each parting on down from the crown area to the forehead. Now remember, you can use this technique not only for shear over fingers, but also clipper over fingers. Always remember, you need control. The comb controls distribution, the fingers control tension. An actual clipper. Now let's do the middle parting up to here All right. remember we cut the horizontal line now it's time to go vertical so I'm going to pick up where I first started off at in the middle with the horizontal line and pick up the vertical line I'm going to create tension within my comb and my finger. I see the guy line created, which is at my second knuckle, right? That's my guy line, that's where I have to follow. I'm gonna cut all of this right here, and it's gonna be matched to this guy line. All right. 
you can see it's cut off. It's matched with the guideline. Now, what we do is we take a quarter, we leave a quarter within our hand, right? This is our quarter, this is our guideline. We pick up more here from that vertical parting and we pick it up, creating tension with our fingers and hands. Now, you may see that there is hair longer than the actual guideline. That means that there's hair that just happens to be there that you want that you need to cut. You probably cut, you probably picked up extra hair along the way. All right, so keep that in mind that when you do look closely, you will see that the guideline is in here. It's tucked inside your fingers. But you want to do the same thing. You want to cut. Cut the hair. Same thing. You see the guideline right here. We want to cut the hair that's sticking out that we know we can cut. All right. So let's say that we want to continue on um, with the horizontal line. We want to continue to uh, take an inch to the next inch to the next inch. Now, when it comes down to the subsectioning, the subsectioning meaning downward. We always want to do about an inch. All right, inch each way as you continue to start off. The space between should be about an inch. That way, uh, once you see that inch, you will be able to see the guy, the 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 guideline back here in the blue. And as you pick up a parting, subparting from the new area which you want to cut, your guy line that you started off with will show up and to the point where this will be more hair in this area and this will be shorter, but you'll be able to see the areas in which you need to cut and make it sure, make sure that it is actually clear for you to cut, okay? Continue on, continue on. Same thing this way. We're gonna work our way through. Now let's say we want to go ahead and do the vertical part. Remember, we always wanna do that inch, inch each way, right? So this is, I'm just giving you all an understanding of how you want to either start it. Either, like I said, you can go horizontal or vertically, but the main focus is, is to take one guy line that you created through the first cut, then only take about a quarter of that inch that you cut the hair with, and then attach it to this new guy line. I mean, this new hair part that you have where you want to cut. And this will become the new guideline, okay? So, once you have guideline number one, this will move on to guideline number two. 
guideline number three, guideline number four. And this is what we call a moving guideline. Move on to five, move on to six, move on to seven, move on to eight. Okay, it's all contingent upon uh, that horseshoe shape. And what I mean by horseshoe is that the side part, the sides of the head, the parietal ridge area is something that we're not going to cut at the moment. All we want to do is focus on the apex head, uh, part of the head. And that is also considered the U-shape, the, the horseshoe shape. When, we, when, we, when it comes down to parting the hair, that's what we're trying to part is the horseshoe shape. And we're leaving the nape area and the occipital bone alone. The uh, parietal ridge we're gonna leave alone, temporal area we're gonna leave alone. All we wanna do is focus on the crown area and the apex of the head. All right, so as we continue along, we'll just keep focusing in on just working our way, working our way. Now, in regards to cross-checking, we just went over moving guidelines. Uh, we did one area vertically, we did one uh, area horizontally. Now, in regards to cross-checking, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you sort of go back. Instead of going vertically down, you're going horizontally. And you're just moving in different areas in different directions and just checking uh, periodically in certain areas. Certain areas may be uh, higher than the next and you want to make sure that it's all even. That's what's going to make the haircut so unique and so good uh, when it is styled because it's to the perfection of the apex area. So that's something you want to keep in mind. You want to not only uh, create the moving guideline, you want to not only create the T-shape, but you also want to go back and cross check. And that's what makes this haircut so much of a good haircut. As you can see now, we are using the point cutting technique for the final touches of the haircut. We mainly see this technique being used on shears, but today I'm demonstrating how to use clippers to point cut. Now the purpose of point cutting would be to remove weight from the ends. So remember, we are still using comb and fingers for control of the hair. Comb will control the distribution of the hair, whereas fingers will control the tension of the hair.